It is my pleasure to uh, welcome to the studios of WHO, Mr. Herman Cain. Herman, thank you for uh, joining us. Welcome. Simon, I'm delighted to be here. Thank welcome. you. It's much warmer than the last time we met. Uh, just a little bit. Because <laughs> that was at the uh, Tea Party Rally yes. uh, right here on the steps of the Capitol. Uh, I'd been here about a week and it was, I don't know, very, very cold. Yes, it was cold that, that day for sure. So we've got a lot that we want to get through today, Herman. So um, and we should point out that you are still in the exploratory committee stage. Yes. Um, but uh, I, I keep hearing that we might, be, uh, we might be able to change that come the weekend. Any comment on that? Yes, Saturday at high noon in Atlanta in Centennial Olympic Park, I will be having an announcement rally. So okay. on Saturday, I will be making an announcement. All I can do at this point is just give you a hint. Mm -hmm. I put my toe in the water back in January. Okay. Now it's up to my chinny chin chin. <laughs> and we'll know what's happening come Saturday at high noon Centennial Olympic Park in Atlanta. Sounds good to me. Let's uh, let's move on to uh, your reaction to both Mike Huckabee and Donald Trump uh, both announcing they are not going to run over the last two days. First of all, I was not surprised that either of them decided not to run. Mm -hmm. Mike Huckabee primarily because he had uh, discovered a very lucrative career with Fox. Absolutely. Uh, he had built a very nice home out here in Florida. Mm -hmm. And he was having fun. Yep. And for someone who had been in politics... For decades, mm -hmm. I can understand how he would get to the point where he would say, you know, I think I want to keep having fun mm -hmm. and imp impact uh, decisions and impact the dialogue, but not get back in. Donald Trump, that one totally did not surprise me because Chris Wallace called it about a month ago. Uh -huh. Chris Wallace said he Donald Trump has done this two times before. And Chris Wallace said he's not going to get burned again having it on his show because he doesn't think he's going to do it. So. Mm -hmm. In, either, in both cases, I really wasn't that surprised. Okay. I mean, I, I, I predicted uh, Huckabee for that very reason that you just gave. Yes. And I always said Donald Trump will only w run if he absolutely believes he can win. Yes. And, but the other th reason that I believe that he wasn't going to run, mm -hmm. this is a lot of work running oh, for president. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if Donald Trump <laughs> would work that hard, to be perfectly honest with you. I did predict that he would turn up to the Iowa State Fair in the Trump helicopter yes. uh, in, and the suit and, uh, and not be uh, up to his knees in, uh, in whatever we have in the show rings. When we came to um, <laughs> one of the events here in Iowa that I participated mm -hmm. in, I don't remember whether it was the presidential forum we had or mm -hmm. whether it was the, uh, the Steve King event. Okay. It was interesting. His great big seven... 37 jet was sitting out there with yep. Trump all over it. He sent his ch chief of staff out to just look around. Yeah. And I'm saying then, he's not serious about running for president <laughs> of the United States because it's mm -hmm. a lot of work, like I've said. Absolutely. Well, about a week ago, sat in the very chair that you're sat in right now, I had uh, uh, Congressman Ron Paul yes. sat there. And uh, right at the end of that interview, I asked him a question which I had to ask him three times in the end, just to be absolutely certain. Uh, not because he was avoiding my, my question. He was absolutely not avoiding the question. And, of course, that, uh, that video went viral and uh, even was still being played on, uh, on Fox News Sunday this weekend. Yes. In which uh, he, he said he would not have given the order to take down Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. I would have given the order. Mm -hmm. just like President Obama did, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have taken 16 hours to make the decision. Mm -hmm. That would have been the only difference because when you have the caliber of people who are going to pull off an event like that, yep. sitting around waiting 16 hours could jeopardize the mission. Right. So I applaud so. President Obama for making the decision to do it. Uh, I wouldn't have hesitated to do it based upon what we now know about the situation, but I think I would have made that decision a little bit quicker for the benefit of our commandos that were going to go in. I said on the air I waited two and a half years to say, good job, Mr. President. I yes. was able to say that, but in the immediate aftermath, I think he's completely lost the post game. I think so, too, it's because sad. because he has tried to milk it too much mm. and politicize it too much, okay? Yep. Let's move on now that that is done. What's the, what are our next steps? Yep. I mean, I wouldn't have had a problem pulling, making the decision simply because he was our number one enemy. Yep. The world knew that. So Absolutely. I don't see a problem with it.